Hey there, it's Fabienne Fredrickson from Bold Heart Business, and I want you to meet my great friend, Tracy Harrison. <laughs> Tell them um, who you are and what you do. I am the founder of the School of Applied Functional Medicine, which is an online educational venture for healthcare practitioners to be a part of the healthcare revolution. Mm. And this is serious business. Where you are revolutionizing, obviously, revolution, um, how things are done. This has a massive legacy. Mm, absolutely. And you helped me to really connect with that legacy. Take us back. When did we first start working together? Oh, my goodness. Well, I've told you before that um, I've been stalking you for years. <laughs> I started getting your, I guess, newsletters at the time. At this point... Fabian, it's been almost 10 years. Oh my gosh. It's been a really long time. <laughs> finally, and you're here. <laughs> finally, I'm here. And um, it was when I was just starting out my personal health coaching practice. And I was drawn to your, uh, I think, the wisdom mm -hmm. and also the practicality of your business coaching. But there was also something about just your warmth and your love. And as a woman, you're role modeling this astute, keen business acumen with a, a warm, loving, feminine approach. Mm. And that really resonated with me. And, and I can remember thinking, there'll be a time, there'll be a time when I'm ready for that. And what, what is it that made you say, now is the time after a few years of just looking in from, from the outside? I what was- What switched it for you? For me, I think it was my business had grown. I was very successful. I was making really good money. And I knew I wanted to take things to the next level. And it felt totally overwhelming because at that point, the only model for success I could see was more hours from me. Yeah. And I was already overworked and already stressed out. And I knew I needed tools that I didn't have to leverage yeah. and take things to the next level. And, and so I guess I was smart enough to know what I didn't know. Um, and, and, and coming to your point, coming from a place of abundance, right? Yeah. No lack of business, more clients than I knew what to do with. Yeah. But I knew there, there needed to be a total revisioning of how I approach my business to allow me to grow and, and expand and have a greater impact without it draining me. And that's where I meet a lot of business owners who on the outside, they've got it going on, mm -hmm. they make good money. Listen, I work with people also, as you, and you know them, you meet them, they're, they're just starting out in their business or they make the five figures. But there are a lot of people like you who on the outside have got, are rocking it. And then on the inside, they're like, I cannot take one more client. Yeah. I cannot handle this. I don't want to be in the same place a year from now. Yeah. What happened to here at Bold Heart Business? What, what, what changed? What were you provided that changed things so dramatically? Uh, well, I think the thing that um, I think the thing is most powerful is you you personally have an incredible ability to see people's greatness. Yes. And that is an amazing and rare skill. Mm. But to really, for, for someone who's open and, and confident, and, but, but has a certain view of potential, and to have you really see a level of greatness, a level of possible legacy that I certainly wasn't conceiving of, and in many ways I couldn't see it because I was so overwhelmed yeah. with, how do I get there? Yeah. And so uh, I think help, you're helping me to see the bigger version of me, the larger legacy, the possibility, mm. Uh, and then showing me how to get there in terms of very specific um, business, marketing, financial, organizational tools. Yeah. And then also, as we've laughed about so many times, perhaps the most important thing, the warm, loving, intelligent, driven, astute, supportive community to help you stay on the path and actually get there. You said that today, we had a meeting today, and you said, my biggest takeaway is, I just, I, I need to be in this room. I love to be in this room. I belong in this room. Yeah, I actually said I'm home in this I'm, room. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because. Tell me about these people. Oh my God. It's, it's, I am so close with them. It really is like family. And yeah. I appreciate that that's a cliche, but you know, in this room, it's not yeah. a cliche. This is a place where you can be a hundred percent real and vulnerable and authentic about what's holding you back. And everybody is simultaneously lifting each other up to their greatness. You can speak your truth in here. There's no complaining. 
uh, and victimhood. Um, everybody's so supportive. We celebrate big, huge wins. There's no competition. Uh, and and it, it really is a business family. Yeah, it's, it really it's is. It's magical, absolutely magical. And I, this whole type of business community is something I've never encountered anywhere I, I, else. I, I don't know how much it belongs any, I mean, I, I don't know of me, in many places, if any. Yeah. Um, which is one of the reasons I think we, we've co-created this, right? Yeah. Um, how long have we been working together? This is year... <laughs> it feels like a decade. <laughs> um, we are coming at the end of year three. Yeah. And what's happened to your business, to your income, if you want to share? Uh, yeah, to your sure. your legacy? So, um, so I think it's important to realize that things were great before. Yeah. I mean, I was when I first started the program. I think my annual income was probably around 150k. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice, very, very successful nice. business, and anyone could certainly say that's good enough. I'm great. You know, I have abundance and everything's fine. But when you have this calling for some level of of greatness some of you within too. you. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of us do, but because we feel so overwhelmed about how to get there, we squash that down and we don't let it out. Yeah. And, and as we joke about so many times in the room, you can shift gears, you can delay, but you can't quit your calling. It will eat you alive from the inside. It keeps this like aching to really step into your greatness. And so for me, going from a fully loaded practice in which I felt overwhelmed to hiring a whole bunch of staff to take, to double that business yeah. um, and put me in more of a leadership type of role and having a wonderful staff of employees running everything. So that business doubled, but it allowed me to go and start up a school teaching other practitioners what I do that has tripled in size since I started it. Wow. Um, and now starting a third business because the second one has been leveraged yeah. and we'll also have a legacy and now going into a, a third level of impact that can be global, that can be international. Do you remember we sat in this chair and and we talked about that and we it was did. a scary, scary time. I mean, yes. kind of because it was, it yes. was right under your nose how big you can play <laughs> Yeah. and now you like, you're going for it. I am. I'm going for it. And and having everyone in this room cheer, like they feel the fear. Yeah. And it's not, it's not being un inauthentic about it. They feel the fear. They have a lot of empathy. But just believing in you and cheering for you and then your incredible ability to just ask the right questions, provide the right type of support that basically says, I get it. You're scared to death. And that's okay. Yeah. It means you're in the right place. Yeah. Yeah, if you're not scared about your big goal, it's not big enough. It's not your big that's goal. What, that's, that's a conversation yeah. we have a lot around here. Mm -hmm. um, what's happened with your income? you want to share? Or? Uh, yeah, so um, I am this year going to be, I'm almost going to hit seven figures this year. <laughs> yeah. know, it's so exciting. Um, but that's in, in three years. Um, yeah, that's pretty close to 4X how I, how I started. Yeah. Um, and, and from a good place, right? And, and I think that um, just having a home for people who are very successful, so much of business training and support is about helping people who are struggling or who can't get off the ground at all. Yeah. Um, and it just feels so wonderful to be in an environment that brings on board su uh, successful, motivated, you know, upwardly rocketing people and helping them to do that so yeah. that we don't step back from that potential. And really heart centered too. Oh, let's talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah tell me what you want to say about that. Um, I think a lot of folks come to this program for the amazing business prowess and amazing content, but there are so many people in this room in these programs because of the love and the support. Yeah. And it's through um, the roof, actually. Nurturing, yeah. warmth. Um, hugs. And it, it, yeah, <laughs> I love hugs. Um, yeah, uh, hugs, support, empathy, challenge, loving challenge, hold, holding a higher in standards, and a place for all sorts of different types of spirituality where there's a lot of mutual respect, yeah. but everybody's really honoring the different versions of belief that we're all shooting for fulfilling a higher calling. 
that's beyond just paying bills or just having an awesome house or a great car. It's not about, you know, what's so funny is we talk about seven figures and it's great to, to get there. And there's so many people in the room I know, who have. it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> the new people, standard. Yeah, yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, there's another one that hit seven figures and another one. But it's, for us, it's, yes, it's nice that the income is gone up, but really it's about how many people you are serving as a yeah. result of playing such a bigger game. Right. And that's, that's. Well, and that's very refreshing in this room is the simultaneous people celebrate the abundance and, and we, there's no shame in, in making a great living and having that abundance. And we all share with each other the different causes and passions that we have that we funnel our abundance to, but people are here doing it for the higher calling, for yeah. the higher purpose, for the service. And then the financial abundance is just, you know, a blessed side effect. Yeah, it's nice. And everybody in the room is really on that page. And it's, it's a nice balance yeah. of those things. Yeah. Thank you so much. You really inspired some people today to just say, you know what, I'm, I'm doing good now, but look at how, the legacy that I could leave. Thank you so much, Tracy. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.